I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I couldn't go without making this video because one of the greatest fighters of all time, Demetrius Johnson, has officially retired from the sport. I want to give my thoughts on it. We're going to take a look at what a couple people had to say online, and as always, guys, I would love to know what you think about it in the comments down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's talk about this. So, Unfortunately, I don't believe I am allowed to use the clip from One Championship. I wanted to react to it, but I watched it live, of course. One Championship I've been following for a long time. It's been my favorite promotion. I like it better than the UFC, although I am a UFC primary channel. One Championship is literally like I get so excited for their events, man, and they had a really, really special moment with Mighty Mouse. And this is one of the reasons why I really, really love One Championship because I've been talking about for a long time how their production is just almost like it's next level, man. It is really, really so good what they do because they had a great announcement. I knew immediately once they announced that Demetrius Johnson was coming out, I knew that he was announcing his retirement because after a little while, like, or after his last fight, he'd been talking about how he needs to talk to his family. He's not sure if he's going to continue. And he officially put the mic down. It was a very, very emotional moment. To be honest with you, it was pretty well, like, I don't know. I want to say it was better than Angela Lee's retirement because one championship like recently they've been doing this. Or I'm not saying like recently they just started doing this, but they've always had these kind of nice things in the middle of their fights. And Angela Lee's retirement kind of really hit home for a bunch of fans. And for me, somebody who has been a fan of hers, I am a bigger fan of Mighty Mouse. So I think I was a little bit more attached to watching Demetrius Johnson retire because I've been watching Demetrius Johnson forever. And this is what I wanted to kind of make the video, just a little bit of an appreciation for Demetrius Johnson because I was a fan of Mighty Mouse before it was cool. I'm very proud to say I've been watching the sport for a very long time. And I wish that I got into the UFC flyweight division a little bit more than I did back when Mighty Mouse was fighting because I started really following Demetrius Johnson and don't get me wrong, I always watched all the fights, but I never really paid attention to Demetrius Johnson. I know it's weird, okay, but the flyweight title was on, and I never cared about the flyweight title until about the second fight he had with Joseph Benavidez. After that, I've been watching great performance after great performance after great performance. Even the second fight against Henry Cejudo, I think that he did lose that fight. I know that's still up in the air, but that was a fantastic set of skills. Like, I remember... I was in Toronto for that second fight with Henry Cejudo, and I couldn't wait to watch it because I'm a big fan of Mighty Mouse. We literally, my uncle and I, left what we were doing like on vacation to go back to the hotel room and just watch Mighty Mouse versus Cejudo. Like, I loved watching Demetrius Johnson fight, and when I heard that he was signing with one championship, I thought it was an incredible thing. I watched his first event in one championship. I watched the roller coaster ride of losing and winning. Like, Mighty Mouse's technique is almost like none other, and... I know there's been a lot of criticism when talking about the pound for pound list and with Demetrius Johnson actually belongs on there. I think there's no question about it. Although I do understand what people are talking about in the sense like, okay, well, he hasn't taken on a high level opponent. It's like when he first got to be champion, the flyweight division was weak. There are better fighters that he could have faced, but he has like guys like Joseph Benavidez. He has guys like Henry Cejudo. He went over to one championship. And I always say one championship can rival UFC with their talent. Look, Look how many fighters, like, I, I can't think off the top of my head exactly how many, but fighters go over there and they lose to the one championship fighters. John Lineker has found some success, some success but he's even, like, he's even had his tough matches too, right? The point being, it's been up and down for these fighters over there, and Demetrius Johnson has proven to me, and, and not that, I, I always have a problem saying that because it's not like Mighty Mouse has to prove anything to this guy over here with the microphone, right? He's proven that he is one of the greatest fighters of all time. The technique is there. I love watching him and the way he carries himself in the sport. I like that he's a gamer. I like his, I watch his YouTube channel all the time. And it was really crazy to see that we won't see Demetrius Johnson one day. He had a very, very emotional speech. And I wish I could play that for you guys with the video over here. He choked up. You can tell that he really, really cares about his wife. And he was really upset. He wanted to keep it all together. And I kind of understand that. And I like that the crowd was really showing Mighty Mouse the love that he deserved. It's saying goodbye to one of the greatest fighters of all time. Certainly more great than John Jones, I'll tell you that. And that's been a lot of the talk of the town on the internet the past couple days because this guy is a true sportsman. He is a family man. He is fully himself. He embraces himself. He's great at what he does. And I can't wait to see him compete more in jiu-jitsu. Something that I've been getting into personally is just watching more pure jiu-jitsu. Something that, why honestly, one of the reasons why I love one so much is because we get to see the grappling. Mighty Mouse said he'd be open to just grappling. Well, he's going to be competing in grappling tournaments, but he said maybe we'll, we'll you'll see me out here for a one championship event. But we know one doesn't do gi grappling, but I'm sure one championship will 
want to put Demetrius Johnson on for a gi match. They've been known to bend the rules. They've been known to have these fun rule sets like that one that Demetrius Johnson was a part of. I'm sure that we'll see him in the one circle again one day or the one ring, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure we'll see it again, but Demetrius Johnson has retired from MMA. It's a very, very sad thing. I wanted to take a look at what the MMA community kind of has to say about this because Demetrius Johnson did end up posting on Twitter. Well, that was emotional. Thank you, everybody. You can see my reply down there. You'll be missed. We'll be here reminding everyone who the real GOAT is. Thank you for all the years of entertainment. And that's the point, man. Thank you for all of the years of entertainment. It was, It's amazing to watch a technician like Demetrius Johnson fight. So pure, so perfect, you know? I, I'm very, very happy for him, and I wanted to take a look at some of the top replies, not just from this tweet, but a couple others, just to get a gauge on how people are feeling about this. There was, a, to be honest with you, there was a lot of trash talking about John Jones. <laughs> this is the top reply. <laughs> You're the GOAT F. John Jones. Exactly. That's what a lot of people were talking about, but I didn't want to really focus in on this just as a like nice farewell over to Mighty Mouse. Let's take a look at what Kev, the real Kev, Kevin K had this to say online. Excuse me. You'll be missed. You're an inspiration around the world. And it's true. Out of all the martial artists out there, Demetrius Johnson is one of those guys you can look at and you can say, okay, that guy is a role model for up and coming martial artists. I love like there was a clip that just went around from him recently where you can just tell that he's doing it for the love of doing this. Of course, everybody wants money. I'm not denying that, right? But you can tell that he loves to compete. He just wants to get better. And he, there, I can't, I don't have the clip on me right now, but he was just, he just won a grappling match and the guy was crying and he's like, hey, it's all good. You got a family at home. Everything's okay. It, and whenever Mighty Mouse loses too, we actually just recently saw Mighty Mouse lose. I believe it was in grappling. Yeah, what else would it be in, right? We just recently saw him lose. I didn't catch whatever he lost in. I think it was just Gi Jiu Jitsu. I believe that's what it was. But he was just happy to compete amazing, amazing sportsman. And I think that people really should follow in his footsteps. So Ariel Hawani also piped up and had this to say, Demetrius Johnson, one of the absolute greatest MMA fighters to ever compete, just announced his retirement at the one championship event in Denver. DJ 38 walks away with a pro record of 25, four and one. He's one of the most decorated champions in UFC history and the greatest flyweight ever. No question. Most importantly, he was one of the kindest, classiest, and most professional people in MMA history, a true mensch, and for a personal note, one of the best people I've ever met in any walk in my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to make this a thing to laugh at, but the reason that I laughed there is because I thought of MMA Guru going, what a mensch. <laughs> God bless Mighty Mouse. Thank you. It was a very well said thing by Ariel Hawani. It's just one of those guys, Mighty Mouse, where you can just tell that they're genuine. You know those people in the UFC, they try to put on the fake humble act. They try to just be nice to the cameras. You can tell that Mighty Mouse legitimately is a good guy and legitimately really does love what he does. And that's why I honestly respect him for it. Ariel Hawani said something very, very nice. Let's continue on over to Malcolm Flex. Bro, you deserved every moment of that. The impact on flyweight MMA that you've had can't be measured or compensated by, by a ceremony. That's entirely true. Super nice to see. One championship really did give him the shine. They gave him the moment that he deserved. And something that I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention he got inducted to the Hall of Fame. That was a beautiful thing to see. Mighty Mouse in the one championship Hall of Fame. And this, of course, spawned a lot of talk throughout Dana White. And Dana White recently just spoke about Mighty Mouse not being in the UFC Hall of Fame. And then he said 100% we're going to put him in the Hall of Fame. I would imagine that was the plan. But he should have been in the Hall of Fame a long time ago. Man, let's be real. Dana White is <laughs> Dana White did the thing, and I love Dana White, but he did the thing like, yeah, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know what happened to Mighty Mouse. I didn't know what was going on. You know when Dana kind of plays dumb like that? So we did have confirmation that he's not only going to be in the one championship Hall of Fame, but he's going to be in the UFC Hall of Fame as well. Very, very cool to see. Brax Moore had this to say, retiring as champ the GSP way. Seems to be having fun winning all those BJJ competitions. Exactly, right? That's exactly it. I like to watch that Mighty Mouse is still having fun and falling in love with jiu-jitsu because jiu-jitsu is also a beautiful sport, man. Very, very beautiful. Shaiki Majori had this to say, the most underappreciated GOAT contender, in my opinion, accomplished things no one else did. I agree with that. He is he might not be the greatest of all time. I'm up for that debate. I understand that that is a very difficult thing to discuss, but he is absolutely the most underappreciated GOAT contender. Absolutely. People, people forget, man. People forget. People forget, man. He's a marauder. Let's continue on. No PDs, no cheating, no controversies, just elite MMA, the greatest of all time. This is what we're talking about. The reply over here, his resume is garbage. And now, you know what? I'll bring up his resume in real time right now. Demetrius Johnson. Let's see. 
I'll bring up his resume in real time for you, and we can kind of analyze that and see how we're doing. This might be a little bit cut off for you guys. Let's see. Okay, then no, that looks good. That looks good. So we have the Adrian Moraes fight. Those were fantastic wins. He beat Rod Tang, and I understand it's not just in Rod Tang's entire department there. And if that's the case, then I would imagine Demetrius Johnson lost. But that is a huge cap in your feather. Like, these three wins are fantastic. Fantastic. And all of the fighters over at one, like, are really, really good. But those really stand out. He, of course, avenges loss against Adriano Marias, And that just goes to show he's the guy who beat Demetrius Johnson. The Henry Cejudo fight... I know that that one is up in the air. I believe Henry Cejudo won that fight, but it was really close. It was, he fought one of the greatest combat athletes of all time and arguably won that fight. I think that's a good thing to take a look at. Ray Borg, he's not, <laughs> this is the problem, right? The Ray Borg and Wilson Reyes, I get it. I get it. Those aren't the best level of competition. Tim Elliott is elite competition. Henry Cejudo again. Jaw Donson is very good competition. Then you have to go down to the jo jo think guys like Joseph Benavidez, who is a fantastic, fantastic fighter himself. Lost to Dominic Cruz, but that's talking about going up in weight. So I understand the criticism for Demetrius Johnson's resume, but you can kind of apply that to everybody. Like, how many high-level wins does Khabib have, right? You want to take a look at John Jones's record as well. John Jones fought people that weren't, weren't his size, and whenever he fought people like Gustav and Tiago Santos, John Jones had big, big issues. I think you can dive into any person who is kind of contending to be the GOAT, even George St. Pierre even though that's a little bit less that you can dive into his record, but you get my, you get what I'm saying. You can pick apart anybody's resume and you could find some issues with it. So I wanted to make this video and I know that there's no chance that Demetrius Johnson will ever see it, but I wanted to make this as like a big thank you to Demetrius Johnson for all of the years of entertainment. I think more MMA fighters need to roll their careers after you. I think that more people need to look up to a guy like Mighty Mouse when they're going into martial arts and not look up to just people and I, I understand the people who want to just trash talk and pick their fights oh no they want to take the safe way but Demetrius Johnson is when it comes to a martial artist when it comes to a champion when it comes to behavior he is absolutely a role model and Demetrius Johnson I can't thank you enough for all of the years of entertainment and being one of the inspirations for my own martial arts journey as a kid it was an honor watching you and I will follow your grappling career I am so excited to see you compete even if it's one again if it's not I'll be watching the YouTube channel Mighty Mouse Thank you for all of the years of entertainment. You will be missed. One of the greatest fighters of all time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Drop what you think down below and check out this video over here. If you want to talk about just retirement, we also spoke about Kevin Lee, even though he's fighting, but he did announce his retirement a while ago. Wanted to talk about him. Take care, everybody.